Hello. Today I learned about the tragic death of Disney's Peter Pan. In 1953, Disney adopted J.M. Barry's classic tale, Peter Pan. A few of the voice cast returned from Alice in Wonderland, which came out two years previously, including Catherine Beaumont, who voiced Alice and Wendy, and Bill Thompson, who had voiced the White Rabbit, and then Smee. The boy who was chosen to voice Peter was a very experienced child star called Bobby Driscoll. He'd appeared in loads of films, including Disney's Song of the South and Treasure Island. But Peter Pan was due to be Bobby's last big success. He developed severe acne as a teenager and having grown out of the usual cute kid roles that had made him famous, Disney ended his contract. Bobby began working in TV and going to regular high school where he was bullied and began taking drugs. In 1956, aged just 19, he got married to Marilyn Rush and they had three kids before breaking up in 1960 then aged 23. The following year, he was sent to rehab and struggled to get work when he got back out. He said, I was carried on a silver platter, then dumped into the garbage. Bobby moved to New York where he became part of Andy Warhol's factory scene and started producing some art of his own. But in 1967 or 68, he left the factory and disappeared. In March of 1968, two boys playing in a derelict building found a body lying in a cot. The coroner found the unnamed man had died of the effects of long-term drug use. Nobody could identify the body and so it was buried in an unmarked pauper's grave. 19 months later, his mother began searching for Bobby and fingerprints showed that the body now buried was his. Nothing was publicly announced about Bobby's death until 1971 when Song of the South was being re-released and reporters asked, well, what happened to that child star? The answer was that Bobby Driscoll, once the world's biggest child star, had died, aged 31, alone. And for over a year, nobody noticed. So, not a cheery one, but that is something I've learned today. And I will have another one for you tomorrow. Thank you very much.